And first to East Africa, many Tanzanian residents are grieving today after police say at least 31 people drowned on Wednesday after a ferry sank in the Indian Ocean waters between Tanzania and the semi-autonomous island of Zanzibar. Authorities say 100 others are missing, but 145 people were rescued from the ill-fated vessel. Rescue teams have resumed their search today for more of the missing passengers, but stormy weather is hampering their efforts while family members crowd the port awaiting news on their loved ones. Authorities say between 250 and 300 people were on board when the ferry sank in heavy winds and rough waters after leaving the capital Dar es Salaam bound for Zanzibar. Police are investigating the cause of the death. According to police, almost the entire boat is now submerged in water, with only a small part of the vessel being visible. The ferry is owned by a company named Seagull, which also runs a number of other ferries. It is the second deadly ferry accident off the East African coast in a year. Officials say at least 192 passengers drowned when an overcrowded ferry sank near Zanzibar off the coast of Tanzania last September in the worst maritime disaster in the history of Zanzibar. Prosecutors have charged four people with negligence in connection with that accident. Uh, for an update on the ferry accident, joining us on the phone now is Issa Haji Gavi, Zanzibar's Assistant Minister of Transport and Communications. Uh, Mr. Gavi, welcome to In Focus. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Now, first, uh, thank you. And we, we, we really would like to hear from you first uh, what the situation is like right now. What has changed in terms of the numbers of the bodies that have been recovered? Uh, actually, this, this ship, as you said, it's called the Stagit, and it has been built in USA in 1989 with a capacity of GRT 96. Also, it has, it has got the CWAS certificate in Zanzibar through Zanzibar Maritime Authority on 20th August 2011. It has allowed to take 25 tons as a cargo. Okay, now... As you heard, uh -huh. as you heard yesterday on 18th July 2011, this ship was it's on its daily route from Dar es to Zanzibar. It came to turnover and caused a disaster. Now, according to the certificate, hello. Yes, uh, just uh, t tell us a little bit uh, about. Uh, do you know what caused it to uh, capsize? Other than the strong winds that we are being reported on the uh, the, the Indian Ocean co uh, coast. I, I think still now. We can't say anything more than that. The, the winds were so strong and the sea was so rough. That's so now we can initiate that was a cause for the ship to capsize. But in very, very good manner and very fortunate, we got a captain and with assistance I and mean, a chief officer, they are still alive and we hope they can cooperate with the police and the other marine officers who can give them cooperation in order to say well, the source of such incidents. Now, this is uh, the second time uh, it's happening in a space of, uh, of uh, over just one year. Uh, what is being done to make sure that that kind of accident uh, hopefully is avoided? Uh, in, in, in our side, it was such an accident in the last year, and we as a maritime authority we supposed to make sure that those people who are doing the marine business, they have to follow and we have to implement to make sure that our, our, our regulation being so much followed with them. And if there is anybody who do contract to those, we have to punish them. We are so much strict to make sure that we, they, those who are our company in our business, they follow our instruction, they follow our regulation, they follow our rules. And in that manner, I can say that till now I'm unsure that the people, they are following our instruction. They are okay. following our rules okay. just to avoid any accident. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Gavi, for that information. Is uh, Haji Gavi Zanzibar's Assistant Minister of Transport and uh, Communications speaking with us today on In Focus.